All right, GY6 Productions here. Um, you guys commented enough and let me know and sent me some private messages saying you wanted me to make this video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade ballistics gel. Okay, so this is what you're going to want to do. Um, you want to mix for every one ounce of gelatin, you're going to want one cup of water to mix it in. Okay. Uh, you could fudge it a little bit and put a little bit more water in to get more out of the product. It do doesn't affect it too much, but to be perfect, you want to do uh, for every one cup of water, you want one ounce of the gelatin mix. Uh, there's only eight ounces in this whole container, even though there's 32 packets. So I'm going to have to put four of these packets for every one cup of water. Okay, so I have roughly five cups of water in here. So therefore, I'm going to have to put around 20 packets to make that, okay? And so 20 packets with 5 cups of water is going to make pretty much this container full to the brim, a little bit under that brim, about right where my thumb's at. And it'll give you a pretty decent thickness of ballistics gel, and I'm going to make about 4 of these and stack them end on end, so we're not on end, but uh, one in front of the other to make a chain of ballistics gel and to where you can shoot at it and allow the round to go further down, because I don't have a 4 foot long refrigerator that I can put a huge container in so this is the best way to do it um, and then you want to coat your container with some cooking spray to allow the, ge the gelatin to come out of it uh, when you're done um, better take this away before it blows up on me so a side note uh, make sure to mix <laughs> the gelatin packets in cold water first before you have the water already boiling or else you get a lot of chunks and clumpy uh, pieces of gelatin that sticks to everything you get this action going on and it takes a while to dissolve without evaporating all the water around the gelatin so um, be careful with that make sure to mix it first in cold water then start heating it uh, it dissolves a lot faster plus if you get the stuff on your fingers it's like napalm and burns off the skin so um, hurts like hell so just keep that in mind uh, four of these equal one ounce you know that because there's 32 of these little packets and there's eight total ounces so you know 8 divided by 32 is 4, so 4 of these, 1 ounce, with 1 cup of water. 5 cups of water would be 20 of these packets. <sighs> 20 packets, so, um, yeah, now it's time to stir. You want to try to get all clumps out of here. Um, once you stir, you'll it'll be pretty consistent, but you'll see some white chunks, and that's the uh, kind of uh, uh, the uh, the actual gelatin sticking together, making clumps of gelatin. And trust me, you want to get that out of the way before you start boiling it, because when you boil it, those little clumps become like uh, I don't know, like napalm lava rocks. We have a little bit lower heat. It'll heat it up, it'll start making it clear, you'll start seeing this become a lot clearer, and uh, you'll have a, a little more consistent ballistics gel. If you boil it, the water will evaporate, therefore the water to gelatin ratio will be changing. Let me scoot this camera up a little bit so you can see the process here. And hopefully, when this goes right, you should be able to see that to start to clear up a lot. You can see how clear it is now through the gelatin. You can see the bottom of the pan right there. You can't really see it too well on the camera. But uh, it's a slow cook, so that way it's nice and evenly dissolved. You don't have a lot of problems in the ballistics gel, and uh, you're good to go with that. 
at a pretty good decent heat. You can see some steam coming off of it now. Uh, put it back into the or put it into the refrigerator for two hours, and then you're going to bring it back out and uh, reheat it up just like this. But it'll be solidified, of course, so it'll slowly go back to this consistency. All right, so I just put it in the fridge for eh, it's been about three hours, three and a half hours. But you can see it's got good consistency, but it's still a little bit less than it is when you're totally done. But you can see all the way to the bottom. You can see the scratch marks. It's clear, so you know you did it right. You might have some surface bubbles a little bit, not much, just very little ripple. doesn't cause that much of a difference, you, as long as you can see into it, so you can see the bullets. Uh, last batch wasn't as good as this. Hopefully it won't be too big of a difference. Um, but now it's time to heat it up. Let's turn it back on to a medium heat, and you'll be good to go. You can see we have a bit of a cluster still in there. So it looks like you're like, hey, look, it's all melted. No, it's not. You got to make sure it's uh, fully cooked through so you get that big old chunk out of there. Let's see if I can stab it. Yeah, so you want to make sure all that's cooked. All right, not just that. Looks like a piece of silicone. <laughs> Got a boob implant in our ballistics gel and gel. Okay, so the end result with after all the gelatin packets, I have another one of these bricks uh, in the refrigerator right now, kind of cooling off for the last bit. But I have two of these bricks, um, decent thickness, and put these things side by side to be able to make a longer chain of ballistics gel to shoot through. Um, but this is what you get. So you can see the consistency is pretty rigid. It allows to a lot of absorption of that actual shock from the bullet and be able be able to catch your bullets fairly nicely so it is good to go uh, these are good um, I will show you in the actual shooting video of these that this brick is actually a little darker and it has a little bit more bubbles in it due to because I mixed the uh, gelatin into hot water rather than cold so you, I think you can kinda see it right here too see how much clearer this is without as much bubbles this one is darker and a little bit, a little bit uh, shorter too, because I, I think I used a little bit less water. But this one is actually legit. It's a perfect one right here. This one's the same consistency. It's just the actual color is different. You can't see through it as well. Uh, you'll see that more in the shooting video. But I got one more of these bricks um, cooling in the refrigerator, and I should have a video posted on a link right here of me testing this. If it's not here, it's because I haven't done it yet. But it will be. Thanks.